Yeah, so that was like, that was, uh, I, I, I sound like a dick trying to or like talking about myself, but I'll try not to like make it sound arrogant. But the because it had been for me three years and it's been a tough year and there was still surely people questioning my ability, like putting in the fastest lap of the race on the last lap when like the victory is in my hands, that for me was like a little like just... Yeah to say like guys i did not feel the pressure this whole time just for just for my peace of mind i'm going to set the fastest lap to say i told you so and go fuck yourself that's <laughs> awesome because that is true i mean you could have just you you didn't have to push it at the last lap you had it so that is that's very cool i love that yeah yeah it was it was my way of saying like i guess i i love the pressure you yeah. think that maybe like 28 year old you when you hear him on the radio and you're he goes, uh, yeah, can you ask Daniel to pick up the pace a little bit? Would that have pissed you off? Or did that get you, it, it, like, modern day you, did that put you into a good rage? So, yeah, like, the first thought I had is, like, that would have pissed me off because I'm like, well, no, I'm, I'm get, like, I'm faster. I've got speed here in, in my pocket. But, um, but no, like, that sort of stuff, I'm like, you know what, it's, it's cool. Like, it, it kind of, in a way, proved to myself that, like, the race was under control and, it also kind of woke me up because, yeah, there was one lap where I, that like one lap, I did cruise a little too much and like call it save the tires too much. So it kind of woke me up and said, all right, like don't don't take the piss here, like get a move on and just go on. Yeah, don't put yourself under any ne unnecessary stress. Um, my last question, uh, by the way, I actually, we have, I have a, so much more admiration for you and, and your fellow drivers. Cause we did, we're not going to spoil anything cause the video hasn't come out yet. You'll have to watch it. But, uh, we did a go-kart race. We had, uh, huge recliners, go-karts that were made out of recliners and we raced them. And I was so sore after doing like 10 laps and I was out of breath and it was, we were going like five miles an hour. So I, I literally walked away being like, I don't know how anyone can race for a living. But what uh, this season, it feels like there's even more drama. Have you had the thought like the Drive to Survive Netflix show is going to be even better this year? Like, have you have you had moments where you're like, ooh, this is probably going to end up? Because I, I, it's weird to watch and be like, ooh, I can't wait to watch that in like three months, even though I'm watching it live. Yeah, yeah ab absolutely. Absolutely. There's, it's It's kind of... I mean, and I think that's just the reality of the sport. Like every year there is there is drama. And I think now that we know Netflix is at like every race, it's kind of a reminder like, oh, like that that's going to be a crazy episode. So, um, yeah, it kind of like them being there just highlights everything kind of we already knew about the sport. Um, what was really cool is that so like Netflix, Netflix will follow like a team um, each weekend you know, and so they're not that they're, they're obviously getting snippets of everything, but they'll then be embedded with a team like kind of each race weekend. And that, and that will cycle through and change. And Monza. Yes. Yes. Be us. yes. So that was like the perfect kind of setting. Holy <laughs> shit. That's awesome. I, I mean, I can't wait for that because that's, that is pr absolutely perfect. I think not to toot your own horn, but like you are one of the, the, the guys that I think a lot of people want to watch for because your personality that's great news. That's breaking news. That's great news. Yeah, well, it was cool. So, like, I mean, and look, not not to like make it about me, but I think just for them to be there and to capture like all of the emotion from everyone that weekend, and like to really be behind the scenes and like, I mean, the I think so. It was the first win for McLaren in nine years, but it was the first one-two in like eleven or twelve years. So there's like there's just a lot of like feel good moments from from that weekend that I'm I'm sure they captured. I love it. Can't wait to watch. I